Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and this time we're going to continue our series on how to uh, with using Kami on PDF assignments. So let's get started. If you need help with your homework, there's Dialer Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380 from Monday to Thursday at 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. They're very nice people. You can watch my YouTube study videos. My YouTube channel name is Dan Robinson, PKMS. You su please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers. And give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing on our videos. So uh, write us a comment. I do write back. Coming soon, PKMS Math Prep 20. We're working on it. So uh, check it out. Look for Math Prep 19. Very good movie as well. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. And don't forget to watch our show, Math Time, on Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision, Channel 15, only in Peak Skill. Good show. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go to my student account, so that way I can log on to Google Classroom. So here I am, and I'm in my class. And let me get my assignment. I see it's due tomorrow. So I have to deal with this assignment about uh, completing a handout. There's a video I'm supposed to watch, and there's the handout over there. So let me click on it. So it comes up. Now notice I cannot write on it because it's a PDF. I need to open it with Kami so I can do it one way or the other. I can click open with Kami here, or I can go to here and click open with Kami here. So I'll do that. So now that Kami is open, I can now go into uh, the editing process. There are a lot of nice things Kami does offer you. So I'm not going to go into everything right now. I'm just going to try to hit the highlights. So my assignment was to uh, homework integers and on the number line, uh, name this set of numbers that are graph. And, and, it's, and if there's an obvious pattern, describe the set in words. If you run into a word that you're not sure of, like the word pattern might be a little bit challenging, click on highlight the word, click on the dictionary. So if you can click on the dictionary, it'll give you the definition of what it is. So pattern, and that is in Espanol. So hopefully I can get it. There it is. So it comes up, what it is is a noun, decorative, uh, uh, repeated decorative design, verb, decorate with re repeated design, or a noun, a model or design used as a guide in needlework or other craft. So you can define words by using the dictionary. So that's a handy tool. And let's look at what we have to do. Now we could write on it by using the drawing tool but I'm going to use the text box because I like to be neat with my work. So I'm going to do number four. So I got to identify the points. So let me identify that's negative three. And the other point way over there is four. So those are the points. Now I'm reading from left to right. The numbers are increasing. So let's write that out. This is a little small, so let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. So, all right, let's get back in there. Over. The numbers are increasing. And I'm supposed to look for a pattern to see, let's see, jump from negative three to four. That's a jump of seven boxes, but I don't see any repeated pattern. So since uh, there are no, not enough dots in there, I can't really make an assumption if there is a pattern. So no pattern is right. Yes. All right, so um, let's go down. We can take a look at this one, number five. And I have text box chosen so I can just click on it. Name the numbers, negative five. And what else do we got? Negative three and negative one. So I'm seeing a lot of odd numbers here. And then I got one, three, and five. So I notice they're counting by. 
odd numbers. And that's by twos. So they counted by odd numbers by two. By twos, and it's increasing. So there's my answer for this one. I can move this over in case you don't like it all the way over there. So now my answer for number five is there. So the, so that's what we got to do for number one through six for this handout. And now graph the described uh, sets of numbers on the number line. So we have some numbers here. So we're going to graph them. So let me go down to my drawing tool because I don't need to write anything. I need the color. So here's my color. So I'm going to choose a nice color, like maybe this color here. So I'm going to draw a dot on these numbers. So like negative 1, I'll draw a dot. 0, I'll draw a dot. 3, I'll draw a dot. And 5, I'll draw a dot. That's all I have to do for that assignment. So all integers greater than 2. What numbers are greater than 2? Well, bigger than 2, 3 is bigger than two, four, so it's five, so it's six, so on and so on. But if I wanted to get fancy, there are other numbers that are bigger than two, like two and a half, $2.50, $2.01. So I could really get close to two, but not on the two. And we'll talk about inequalities a little bit later. So graphing inequalities. So I just did two examples from this, and there's a couple more down there at the bottom. So, um, I'm going to submit my work and send it in to good old Dr. Robinson and turn it in. So uh, let's press let's press the select tool and turn save turn in. So this this homework uh, is is going to be turned in. So all I have to do is just uh, turn it in and it'll be done. It'll be saved into my doc my a document. Uh, if I wanted to come back to it later, I can. I can I can not turn it in and come back to it. All my work will be saved on there. It's automatically saved, so that's a good thing about it. But I want to turn it in, so I can turn it in. If I wanted to download it, suppose I wanted to download it, so I would download it with the annotations, all the pages, and, and put it in its processing, going into my download folder. So good, it's in my download folder, so let me just... Minimize all this stuff. And let me get that back up. Go into my download. And there it is. My Kami export as a Peak Skills student. So I open it up. And let's open it up. So hopefully it'll open up soon. Coming. Adobe Reader is a little slow, but it's coming. There it is. I thought I saw it. Is that it? Oh, I don't know if that's it. That might be another one. I don't know. Well, it'll come up. So, so I know it comes up there sooner or later. So I hope I don't know if that's it or not. So I that might be it. I did that one. Yeah, I did that one. There it is. So that is it. All right. So um, this uh, this one looks like it. So it might be it. So it is in my download folder. I see it right there. So I can. I can open it. There it is. I knew it would come up. It takes a while. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, let's X that out of there. So I knew it would come up sooner or later. Adobe's a little slow on my computer. So um, there's the new work that I did. Now, if I want to uh, edit it again, I would just open it up in Cami one more time and 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 start working on it and continue my work. But I wanted to submit it. So let me go back to 
my account. So let's X this out. So I want to turn it in. So click on turn in and it will be turned in. And Dr. Rob will be very happy that he did it. So I'm not going to click turn. Well, I click turn, click turn in. And now it's turning in for me. I'm going to put my name on it and everything. And there it goes. Turn in your work. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to turn in your work? Sure, I'm sure. And Dr. Robin will not have it. It says that it's turned in. And my homework will get 100 because I did those nice questions for Dr. Rob. So that's how you do it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.